fashion and family history, interpreting your ancestors, how your ancestors dressed, I should say. Um, that is the book I want to talk to you about today. And it is a really important one because it can help you break through so many book walls and tell you more about your ancestors. Now, compiled by Jane Shrimpton, she's a very well-known photo historian in the UK and she knows her topic inside out. So to start with, so we, we're looking at photographs. She actually starts off with a, a fashion timeline from the 1800s through to the 1950s, and it covers women's styles, men's dress, and also children's clothing. So that's all useful as well. Now she also talks about following fashion, both in the metro regions and the regional areas, because they do vary. Um, she talks about work wear, um, the rural styles and the factory dresses and so on and then also occupational uniforms so what was standardized what was domestic servants wearing what was behind the counter type of dressing she also then covers um, let me just go back to that um, dressing up and dressing down so she talks about the Sunday best clothes um, home uh, at home clothes and holiday clothes because they all did vary now we know that um, people back in the Victorian era had amazing dress sense when they were wearing, you know, when it was sport. And she also covers things for, you know, clothing for horse riding, tennis, cycling, motoring, golfing, and walking as well. Um, there's, when we come across photos, we often have a photograph, might be for a special occasion. Um, she covers bridal wear, morning attire, and evening dress. And all of those can be really useful pointers as to what the actual um, uh, you know, photo represents. So then she goes on to learning to sew, learning to make patterns, you know, making a business, sourcing and fabrics, sourcing fabrics and clothing and so on. How to care for clothes, um, starching, drying and ironing and even storing them because they had amazing dresses and they would have been interesting to see hung up somewhere. Um, then she goes into the clothing industry work um, and then also fashion heirlooms. So there's an awful lot in here. There's photographs in here throughout. Um, but the essence is to learn about the different types of clothes that ancestors would have worn for different activities. To then learn about, you know, look more closely at photos that you've got and put them into context. So that's essentially this fashion and family history. So details for the uh, relating to this title you'll find below. So check it out.